Greetings, Otaku Faithful. Thank you for joining me again this week. Once again, it's Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, and I'm here to bring you all yet again another discussion of the week video segment right here on Otaku Assemble Weekly. As always, I'm here to bring you the latest in this week's discussion of the week video segment. And this week's discussion topic comes from Locust Titsi. Locust Titsi. How have you pronounced that? <laughs> and they say, discussion of the week, what do you consider free speech? Our constitution gives us the right to free speech, but not all speech is free according to some state laws. Whether it is hate speech, racist remarks, fighting words, obscenity, porn, nudity, or commercial speech, false advertisement. My professor said that when the founding fathers wrote the First Amendment, they were talking about they were only talking about political speech. They were not thinking about gay rights, flag burning, war protests, etc. How does it apply in America today? So, pretty much just giving my overall thoughts on free speech. Now, many of you all who, uh, who follow my videos, you all may remember that in one or two previous videos, I stated that I don't necessarily believe in rights. More often than not, I believe in privileges because the, the difference is a right is something that no one um, has any authority to, to take away from you. And there are a few things that I believe that are innately, um, you know, innately due to a person. I think, you know, that that is their right, um, such as, um, what is it? It's a... Uh, Damn, how, how can I forget the phrase? It's, um... Anyway, in the, uh, in the Bill of Rights, the three that they mention, and the last one is, uh, the pursuit of happiness. What is it? Freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Like, no, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what it is. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Like, for an example, those three things, I think that that's right. Those are things that no one else has the, um, has the authority to take away from you. But when we talk about things like free speech, freedom of assembly, uh, rights to bear arms, all that type of jazz, I don't believe in those as rights. Um, just like case in point like the right to bear arms no one has a right to own a firearm that's a privilege and privileges mean when you misuse when you misuse it or abuse it abuse it you get that taken away from you you know just the same you know the same thing happens to uh to people who com who commit crimes when you commit a crime you lose whatever privilege that crime was against. So you know, you commit murder, you go to prison, or you get a uh, or you get a uh, executed. You uh, you steal, you go to prison. You uh, you know, DUI or whatever, you get your license suspended. You bring uh, contraband into the country, you get your passport suspended. All those type of things. You, you see what I'm saying? Those are privileges. And a lot of the times, when it comes to things like rights, I'm more along that same type of ideal. Some things are not rights, their privileges. So, free speech, does that necessarily mean that I think free speech is more of a privilege? Not necessarily, and this is what I mean. Because the funny thing with free speech, free speech is actually a double whammy. There are two things to be taken in consideration with free speech, and very often, very often, people like to group these things together when they're technically different. Free speech is the right to say whatever you want, correct? But what it isn't, and this is what a lot of people mis misconceive about free speech. Free speech does not include the right to be heard. I'm going to say that again. Free speech is the right to say whatever you want, but it does not give you the right to be heard. And that's why when it comes to something like free speech, I don't think that should be treated like a privilege where if someone abuses it, they get it taken away from them. Because while the person speaking always has that right to say what's ever on their mind, the person who would be listening can always choose to no longer hear that person out. So case in point, if it's a bigot, 
if it's something uh, hurtful or something that's um, inappropriate or clearly just out of line and unacceptable, we all, at any point in time, reserve the right to just turn around and walk away. To, you know, to put it to put in our headphones and just zone them out. To, to you know, pick, pick up a cell phone and act like we're, pretend like we're talking to somebody else and just completely ignore that person. So that's why when it comes to free speech, I, know, I, I don't really think of it as, oh, if you abuse it, it's something that should be taken away. No, because we can always ignore who's ever speaking. And we reserve that right. Now, you know, uh, things do get a little bit different when you talk about, uh, oh, you know, forcing people to, you know, forcing people to hear out your message or, uh, or, or anything like that. And then, you know, free speech does get out of hand, case in point, you know. So, uh, for an example, you know, when people throw up graffiti, and I'm not talking about graffiti art. I'm just talking about straight vandalism. I can't stand that shit. If you're going to take the time to fucking spray paint on a brick wall, make it look good. You make art out of it. I, so I'm not talking about graffiti art. I'm a huge, huge fan and admirer of graffiti art. I'm talking about just bullshit vandalism, where people just scribble, write, whatever the fuck. You know, uh, something like that. You know, that that's... Clearly, that's going beyond verbal, and that's going to just straight vandalism. You know, you're destroying someone's property, you know, spray painting whatever it is you want. But, keep in mind, though, we always reserve the right to just paint over it, or to cover it up. Always. So, um... So I think, I think that as long as that check is, and that check and balance is always there with regardless of whatever message someone could be saying, as long as we can always ignore the message if we don't want to listen to it, then everything's fine. But the second you start forcing people to listen to whatever BS message you might have, and of course I am talking about when free speech is abused, when people use it to... You know, like, as you said, with, you know, harmful, you know, harmful stuff, uh, except for the whole porn nudity thing. I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, yeah, it's obscene, but in what, when you talk about porn nudity, in what context is porn and nudity being talked about? Because, you know, I mean, yeah, if it's being talked about, like, in a grade school or something, no, but, I mean, come on, man, if there's adults around... I don't really think porn and nudity is necessarily obscene. I don't know. And uh, in commercial speech, false advertisement, there's actually penalties penalties for those. Like, you can actually get in trouble for false advertising. So I wouldn't really worry about that. But like I said, stuff like, you know, racist remarks, um, you know, bigotry, you know, fighting words, so like threats and stuff like that. Um, as long as we reserve the right to ignore those type of things, I think everything's fine. Um, now that's not to say that this stuff should be ignored. You know, somebody starts throwing out threats and something. You know, yeah, go ahead. You know, look into it. See if it's something you should really worry about. But all in all, if we're just strictly talking about people who are speaking, who are spewing out harmful material, and are trying to hide behind the the protection of oh, I have the freedom of speech. Yes. You do have the freedom to say what is ever on your mind, but we also have the freedom to not hear you, to ignore you, and um, and like I said, as long as that exists, you know, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So uh, so yeah, I mean, actually, not 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 much to say on that topic, really. Um, I think uh, yeah, I, th I think for the most part, I, I pretty much tackled everything. So. Want to thank uh, once again. I want to thank Locus, Lo Locus Z, Z. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't even think that can be pronounced. Anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you for this week's discussion topic. In the comments below, guys, let me know your thoughts on this week's topic, and also leave suggestions for next week's topic. Thumb up the one you want to see me discuss next week. So, what to keep an eye out for later this weekend? The OAW podcast is coming back. It's coming back. That video, well, let's see. That video will probably be uploaded the same day as this one. 
So uh, I'm, I'm looking, what did I want to do? Saturday night, I believe. Yeah, Saturday night. Keep an eye out for the OAW podcast. And then Sunday night, since you guys enjoyed my review of it last week, Vikings episode review will be returning this Sunday night. So with that being said, this is, oh, right. This is Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, signing off, reminding you all, totems, number one, now on sale. Links are in the description box below. And until next time, peace.